I had this putt from a little further left and I did not hit it. I hit it like eight feet by. Hit it right just about where he's standing, Raj, a good five, six feet out to the left maybe. And knowing where he hit it, I was like, okay, well, he's gonna be kind of just lagging in down there for par and then seeing him to make that, that was crazy. You have to be committed to whatever line they figure out they want to put it on it. He gave it a great run. He gave it a great oh, run! How about that? Wow! Dustin Johnson, are you kidding me? Playoff time with Rom. Do you believe that? I've seen DJ make that putt is pretty crazy just because being long in that pin was such a not a good spot to be. You want to be short of that pin. It, it, it's pretty exceptional because you know he's really not known for his putting, but you know, great players like him make putts and um, you know in those type of moments. I was kind of laughing at my putt because it was one of those you know where you not really thinking you're gonna make it, but you know, gave it a good good roll and and you know obviously I did make it, but uh, yeah, I mean he he came right back and made one on top of me on the playoff. That is just absolutely clutch putting by DJ. Pretty cool to go back and see, and then what Rom did afterwards in the playoff was, I mean, his putt was probably even harder. Rom has one of the hardest putts you could ever imagine. I knew I had a really tricky fast putt, and my mind was only on first, what can I do to give myself the best chance to have a putt, uh, to have a chance, right? He's going to have to play it, Paul, like about a 40-footer. He literally is going to try and putt it, and get it to sort of stop on the top of the precipice, 20 feet short of the hole. Once I read the putt, all I had to do was just put a good roll on it on the direction I wanted. Uh, I know it sounds very simple, right? Uh, there's no trick to it, that's all I had in mind, and, and that's what I did. Here it comes. Here it Watch out! comes! He's got it! Wow! So when I hit it, I, if it was 66 feet, I think 30 feet of the, you know, of the blade, it felt really well, and it was on the line I wanted. And when it started taking over the hill, I'm like, this is a good line. And you can see me walking to get a good look. And then I start looking at it like, okay, now it's gonna turn left. And then I freeze for about half a second because I'm like, the ball is just trickling towards the hole. And that's where I can't believe it. I just freeze. I'm like, no way. And, and it goes on, and that's where uh, I, I sincerely just black out on those moments. I don't know what happens. Uh, the next thing I remember is me picking the ball out from the hole. So that, that's it. This was going to be one of the most difficult two putts of his life, and he holds it. It's like a triple, quadruple breaker. Goes dead center with awesome speed. I couldn't imagine the all the emotions that were going to go through his through his body right there. I think. Well, most people don't know at that moment when it's such a Hail Mary feeling, right? You're not that nervous. It's like, well, just give it good speed and let's hope he doesn't make it, right? That's kind of what I was thinking. I don't know, my subconscious takes over. That's what it is. I can't tell you, <laughs> I can't tell you why or, or, or what I do, but that's what happens. Yeah, as far as they hit it and as good as they putt it, they're hard to beat. This is one of the craziest finishes on tour in a long, long time.